So this problem is focused around a differential equation which we're given dBdt equals one-fifth a hundred minus b. And for later parts of the problem we're also given an initial condition namely at time equals zero uh, the weight of the bird in grams is 20 grams. And they're going to ask us a couple of questions about the differential equation and then finally ask us to solve for b as a function of time using the separation of variables method. So in part a the question is simply when is the bird uh, gaining weight faster? And so we need to compare db dt when b equals 40 and when it equals 70. So b d d t when uh, b equals 40 and db dt uh, when b equals 70. But we have the formula there. It's just one-fifth of 100 minus 40 in the one case and a one-fifth of 100 minus 70 in the other. So I have a one-fifth of 60 which is equal to 12 and I have one-fifth of 30 which is equal to 6 and I have to explain my reasoning. So <clears throat> Uh, how fast the bird is gaining weight is represented by dBdt for a given weight. And so we just say because dBdt for b equals 40 is greater than dBdt for b equals 70. Therefore, The bird gains weight faster when it weighs 40 grams. And that's all there is to that. Okay, part B. They want us to calculate d2b dt2, the second derivative of b with respect to time. Well, we already have the first derivative, and so we're just taking the derivative of this expression with, expect to, with respect to time. So that's just uh, d by dt of 100 minus b. And so I'll write uh, well taking the derivative of a hundred with respect to time there is nothing to do there so this is really just I'm sorry I left out the one-fifth I'm just going to put it in here so that's really just a negative one-fifth db dt and that can of course be written as negative one-fifth times what we're given for db dt, it being a common feature when we take the second derivative of having to substitute back in what we know about the first derivative. And so where are we? We're at negative one over twenty-five one hundred minus b. 
Now they ask the question, why can the graph of B not resemble the following graph? And here's the reference graph. Well, let's uh, post some information that's going to be useful in this problem. Namely, the method of separation of variables, as well as what we know about concavity. What we see here is that this second derivative for any value of b between 20 and 100 is going to be a negative value. And yet, this graph shows some regions, at least, of positive concavity. Right? This is a positive concavity region. And so we, we uh, can simply state um, the graph shown has regions of positive concavity. However, uh, D2B dt2 is always negative. Okay? This quantity is always negative, and therefore, um, uh, b of t cannot be represented. by the graph. And again, as I've mentioned elsewhere, it's important that we have that full explanation there. Okay, finally we're left with the separation of variables using the particular solution. And so we're going to write <coughs> uh, dbdt equals one-fifth 100 minus b. We separate the b and db factors to be on the left side and we leave the dt factors and I'll leave the constant one-fifth on the right side. I could put it on either side but we integrate and uh, because this has a negative factor of b in it if we did the u substitution, we would get the fact that ln of 100 minus b absolute value, we actually get a negative sign there, and that equals 1 fifth t plus c. Okay. We'll shift the negative sign to the other side just for simplicity, and then we'll exponentiate both sides, and we get that 100 minus b equals plus or minus um, e to the negative one-fifth t plus c. And therefore we can finally write that b as a function of t is going to be 100 uh, plus or minus. I'm going to move e to the c out front, and then I have e to the negative one-fifth t. Now I have all of my uncertainty located right here, and I can use the initial condition to know that 20 equals 100 minus um, e to the 0 times this constant, okay, this plus or minus e to the c, and so this has to be 80. And so we can write that b of t equals 100 minus 80 
e to the negative one fifth 